Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to learn about science. Good morning everybody, I hope you're all doing well. We thought it'd be fun to do some fun science videos from you from the Fredrickson Library. I'm Miss Emily and you probably know me from the Kunkel Creation Station where I do all of the STEM programming with you. So we're gonna start off today with a trivia quiz. So if you wanna play along at home, you can. We're gonna have 10 questions and it's multiple choice, so you can pick which one you think it is and I'll tell you the correct answer after each question. So here, our topic today is animals. So our first question is, what is the largest cat in the world? Is it A, Pete the Cat, B, Tigers, C, Ocelots, or D, Lions? And the answer is Tigers. Can you believe it? Tigers can be about the same size as 10 10-year-olds. Can you imagine that? That's a really big animal, isn't it? All right, so the correct answer for that one was B, tigers. Our next question, what do rats use their tails for? Is it A, balance, B, just for looks, C, keeping cool, or is it D, balance and keeping cool? What do you think the answer is? The answer is D. Rats' tails are used for balance and to keep themselves cool. They can direct some of their body heat out through their tails. Isn't that cool? All right, our next question is about rabbits. When do rabbits' teeth stop growing? Is it A, one year old? B, rabbits don't have teeth. Is it C, five years old, or is it D, never? Which do you think the answer is? The answer is D, never. A rabbit's teeth never stop growing. Instead, they're gradually worn down as the rabbit chews on grasses, wildflowers, and vegetables, so they don't get too long. Can you imagine that if your teeth never stop growing? How long do you think they'd be by now? All right, our next question. What do pandas eat? Is it A, mostly grass? B, mostly bamboo? C, chicken nuggets? Or D, fruits and vegetables? Which one do you think it is? The answer is B, mostly bamboo. Pandas are omnivores, so that means that while they mostly eat bamboo, it um, counts for 99% of their diet, they also occasionally eat small animals and fish. All right, our next question is about bees. Do you think you can make a buzzing sound with me for a little while before we talk about bees? Bzzz. That was fun, wasn't it? All right, so what scents do bees really need to do what they have to do? Is it A, sight from their eyes, B, taste from their tongues, D, sound from their ears, or D, smell? What do you think the answer is? The correct answer is smell. Each bee has 170 odorant receptors, which means they have one serious sense of smell. They use this to communicate within the hive, and they recognize different types of flowers when they're looking for food. Isn't that cool? Take a big, deep breath and see what you can smell right now. Mm. Does it smell like springtime in your house? It smells like springtime here in my house. All right, our next question. How old can a turtle get? Can a turtle get to be five years old? 10 years old? 50 years old? Or over 100 years old? How old do you think a turtle can get? 
The answer is over a hundred years old. Turtles are cold-blooded and they have an incredibly long lifespan. The oldest ever recorded passed away at the old age of 188. That is a really old turtle. All right, and now it's time for a question about poop. Are you ready? Okay, so how much does an elephant poop? Does it poop 10 pounds a week? 100 pounds a week? Over 2,000 pounds a week? or over 5,000 pounds a week. What do you think? I mean, all of that sounds like a lot of poop to me. All right, the answer is that they poop over a thousand, or over 2,000 pounds a week. So elephants eat a lot and that means they poop a lot. Um, and all of that poop keeps the soil fertile and helps disperse tree seeds. So it's good for the environment when they're pooping. All right, our next question is about zebra. Remember what zebras are? They have the black and white stripes. All right, so how many different kinds of zebras are there? Is it just one kind of zebra? About a dozen kinds of zebra, and that's 12 three different kinds of zebra, or are there 30 different kinds of zebra? So our planet, the answer is three different kinds of zebra. Our planet has three different species of zebra, the plain zebra, grevy zebra and, zebra, and mountain zebra, and all three species are native to Africa. All right, now we're gonna ask a question about kangaroos. Do you know what kangaroos do? They hop a lot, right? Do you think you could hop for me right now? See if you can jump just a little bit, like a kangaroo. All right, so here's our question about kangaroos. What is a group of kangaroos called? Are they called a troop, a herd, a mob, or all of the above? What do you think a group of kangaroos is called? All right, the answer is all of the above. Kangaroos are found in Eastern Australia where they live in small groups called troops, herds, or mobs. They typically are made up of 50 of more or more animals. That's a lot of, Z or a lot of kangaroos, isn't it? All right, so our last question, this is a true false one. So let's see what you think. And the question is, do dolphins communicate? So do you think dolphins communicate or do you think they don't communicate? The answer is true. Bottlenose dolphins are kings of communication. They send each other messages in all different ways. They squeak and whistle and they also use body language. They can also use echolocation where they um, produce a series of high-pitched clicks to help them navigate and find food. So dolphins are really good at communication. All right, so how did you do on our animal trivia quiz? Did you do pretty well? Yeah, that was pretty fun, wasn't it? All right, so what we'd like you to do is draw us a picture of your favorite animal. It doesn't have to be one of the ones we talked about today. It can be any animal. And then if you want, you can have your grown-up send it to us. Um, we're also going to link to some cool videos where you can watch animals online. So if you um, got really excited about hearing all about, um, about rabbits, maybe you can find a cool video for that. And uh, we'll see you soon. So goodbye, friends. I hope you have a good day today. Bye.